On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. Recently, the Dragon Warhammer obtained from the Lizard Men Shamans had its drop rate drastically increased from 1 in 5,000 to 1 in 3,000, which I'm sure made especially Iron Man across Gillenor rejoice, as this used to be a grind you had to do before you could really get into high tier PVMing. The weapon is mostly known for its special attack, which when used drains 50% of your special attack charge to deal 50% more damage and lower your target's defense by 30% on a successful hit. Now this used to be the best defense weapon for high defense monsters, but the Elder Maul was recently reworked, giving it a 35% defense reduction on its special attack. But even if it's not currently the best defense lowering weapon, today is all about the Dragon Warhammer. So let's defeat up to 3000 Lizardmen Shamans or receive a Dragon Warhammer. Starting off the grind with two investments that I think are going to pay dividends like crazy. The Venator ring is going to help a lot with damage, being a new and the strongest ranged ring in the game. And on top of that, these ornament kits are actually going to help a lot with morale, because having a fancy cannon is going to be essential. I have actually never used these, so I'm not sure how to do it exactly. I think you just... yeah, okay. So buying four of them was correctly. I have to use one on every single one of them. And look at this, it is going to be so fancy. Let's put it out. I don't know why I didn't buy this earlier, honestly, because I really love this design. Also, when a cannonball is shot out, there's blue fire from that cannon. So, really looking forward to see this in action. When it comes to my gear setup for this grind, we're running a full Shazian gear outfit, which gives you immunity to their acid spit attack, which can hit up to 30 unblockable damage, along with a blowpipe with amethyst darts. Of course, as previously shown, we're also bringing a cannon, anti-poisons, as many prey potions as we can, and runes for high alchemy for all the rune items you can get. As we're getting ready to start killing these lizard men shamans, we have added the loot tracker at the bottom of the screen. And when it comes to stamina potions, I might be bringing more of them in the future as I get more comfortable and more into it, because basically every single point of damage can be avoided if you play everything right. So let's set up our cannon and go over the mechanics you will deal with when fighting lizard men shamans. The protection prayer of choice here should always be protect from ranged while staying out of their melee range, as they can hit you up to 31 damage if you get too close. Besides that, they have three main mechanics, the first one being a poison ball attack that hits up to 30 damage but is completely negated when wearing the highest tier of Shazian armor. Secondly, the Lizardman Shaman will jump up and disappear off your screen for a few game ticks, to then crash down on where you stood when they initially jumped up. This can be negated by standing close to a wall at all times, as if there's not enough space for them to land, they won't use the jump ability at all. And lastly, they will summon several small purple minions that after a few seconds will explode, dealing 5 to 10 damage per minion. This one is very simple, do not be close to them when they explode and that's it. Okay, already we have a 1 in 1042 drop with a magic seed, only 31 KC in. And I do have to say, we're probably going to get a lot of these because there is a massive seed drop table on these, which have a lot of rare seeds, and on top of that, the normal rare drop table. And just like that, these are 1 in 446, another rare seed. Killing Lizardman Shamans is so eventful, you always see something interesting every trip, and this time we get a Sarax Talisman. These are 1 in 250, but actually 1 in 125 if you just have the easy current and Kebbles diary completed. Which I do have, and it's not really worth anything, but you can dismantle it for 100 Lizardman Fangs worth 1.5k, so not too much. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. There's actually a way you can get the Dragon Warhammer in real life at 100% drop rate, and it's crazy. Let me show you. With today's sponsor, Creator Crafted, you can get a Dragon Warhammer LED light as well as a bunch of other awesome RuneScape related designs. They also offer mouse pads with various designs for both PvPers and PVMers, as well as new plushie releases open for pre orders, including a Red Chin Chompa, Sebak, and Rocky the Raccoon. And finally, they have their outstanding statues of iconic RuneScape NPCs, including, amongst others, Vorkath, Jad, and Giant Mole. So click my link in the description or pinned comment to get 10% off site wide. Thank you to Creator Crafted and let's get back to farming the in-game Dragon Warhammer.
when this divine ranging potion runs out i've been here for 20 minutes and we got roughly 60 kc meaning i'm getting around 180 kills an hour and that means if we go all the way to 3000 kc this should be a 16 hour grind roughly and that means the drop rate increase from 1 in 5000 to 1 in 3000 has saved me 11 hours of grinding these lizard men shamans and of course if you're a lower tier player like an iron man who doesn't have access to the best gear possible then this is going to save even more time oh and uh, in terms of loot i picked up we got 351,000 gp and to be honest because of all the super stores you use here and because i'm using a cannon that most likely covers basic supplies but if we do get a dragon warhammer that is another story this might seem very random but it does have to do with lizardman shamans trust me i am at the normal gauntlet just to get two combat achievements because i am extremely close to finishing the elite combat diary and that should be the first one egg all diet for four points i only need two more points as you can see right there because completing the elite diary actually increases the chance of getting elite clue scrolls from every source and that of course includes listen man shamans and i think that should be it yes the boss is dead let's see if we get the final achievement yes we do crystalline warrior and on top of that the elite tier has been completed and let's see what the final loot from this chest is not too bad for normal gauntlet honestly but that is now a five percent increase to all elite clue scroll drops in the game which is going to be useful overall for this account oh no we got the wrong warhammer the obligatory rune warhammer comment about oh this could have been the dragon warhammer if it just had a different color that's how it works right that that's how drop rate works I've actually had incredible luck in the Undrop Rate series lately, and I actually was kind of curious when was the last time I lost a challenge. And I actually looked back on my own videos, and this episode right here, when I did the evil chicken outfit on Drop Rates, was actually the last time I lost a challenge, which is 8 episodes ago. So let's see if we can make it 9 episodes in a row by getting the Dragon Warhammer. It was inevitable. We have the first long bone. It's one in 400. And luckily, I will have to say, that is not a curved bone, which is over one in 5,000 drop rates. And I do prefer long ones instead of curved ones, if you know what I mean. And we have the first hard clue scroll of the grind. Actually, a bit overrated as well. These are one in 200. But with the hard combat achievements done, which of course I have the elite ones, it's one in 190. So a bit over the drop rate, like 80kc. And of course, I have every single requirement for the so I will complete them all and open them all at the end. Wait, hold on a minute here. I've had this uncut diamond on the floor for a while. I do believe this is actually a very rare item. Let me have a look at the random drop table. Hopefully I don't die here. I think it's extremely rare. One of the most rare. It's one in over 10,000. That's uh, one of the worst items to see on this grind. Literally more than three times the drop rate of the Dragon Warhammer. We are on a streak for rare drop table items that are absolutely useless. Well, to be fair, this one is 65k. And it is a dragon item. She left half, but not the correct dragon item you do want to see on the ground. So we are about to hit 1000 KC and pretty consistently I've been getting around 160 kills an hour and that does include doing the clue scrolls which I've done three of them. So I've actually been here for a bit more than six hours and that means by the way that with the reduction of the drop rate from 1 in 5000 to 1 in 3000 the drop rate increase actually saved me like 12 to 13 hours of just grinding lizardman shamans compared to the old drop rates. And of course I have pretty good gear so if you're a less geared player like an iron man it can save even more more time. You have got to be kidding me, dude! Uh, let's go! That's another challenge one. That's nine in a row. I was just packing up my cannon. I had no supplies left. 1,125kc. Look at that. Another dragon warhammer obtained and another challenge one. I literally cannot stop winning in this series. It is kind of crazy, but let's have a look at the collection log as well. Of course, I have done this before. Where are the Dragon War... Oh, it's at the top. There is the Dragon Warhammer. We've got three of them so far. And I've actually been very lucky because I have not killed even that many Lizardmen Shamans for how many Dragon Warhammers I've got. And of course, most of them was with a 1 in 5,000 raid. All right, you can actually check out here how many we've killed. I've killed 6,908. And considering most of that, like 5,700, was before the drop rate change, I should have received roughly one and a half Dragon Warhammers. But of course, we have three, so very lucky. 
With the newly acquired the Dragon Warhammer in hand, we have four hard clue scrolls to open, and uh, let's see if we can keep on being very lucky with these ones. Maybe get some masters. 65,000, 158k, 84k, no master at all. The last one, and 49k. And overall, 357k, I, I guess it could have been worse. And finally, we have sold all the regular loot and the Dragon Warhammer, which sold instantly for 19 million, and it actually sold pretty much exactly for 19 million. And that means from just six and a half hours of Lizardman Shamans, we went away with 24.6 million GP. Of course, we were very lucky here, and I wouldn't really say that Lizardman Shamans is an amazing moneymaker, but of course, most people that do this anyways are Iron Man.